Have you ever heard of a black hole so hungry that it breaks the very rules of physics as we know them? Imagine a monster in the cosmos, devouring matter at a rate so extreme that scientists themselves were left stunned, calling it nothing short of shocking. This isn't science fiction. This is real, unfolding in the farthest reaches of our universe. And it has astronomers rethinking what we thought we knew about how the cosmos works. Today, we're going to dive into one of the most mysterious discoveries in recent years. A black hole that is growing 2.4 times faster than the laws of physics should allow. Buckle up, because this journey takes us back to the dawn of the universe, to a time when everything we thought we understood about black holes is suddenly being challenged. The story begins with NASA's Chandra X-ray Observatory, one of the most powerful space telescopes ever launched. Despite its incredible contributions, this telescope itself has been at risk, with proposals to shut it down in future budgets. But before that could happen, it captured something extraordinary. Astronomers turned Chandra's gaze to an ancient black hole, known as Rax J0320-35, a cosmic beast born just 920 million years after the Big Bang. To put that in perspective, the universe is about 13.8 billion years old today. When this black hole was already fully formed, the cosmos was barely one-fifteenth of its current age. And yet, it was already gigantic, weighing in at a billion times the mass of our sun. Now, here's where it gets even stranger. Black holes grow in two main ways, by swallowing up matter like gas, dust, and stars, and by merging with other black holes. But there's a natural speed limit known as the Eddington limit. This limit is based on the balance between two opposing forces the radiation blasting outward from material as it falls toward the black hole, and the gravitational pull sucking that same material inward. The outward radiation should, in theory, push back against the incoming material, creating a ceiling for how fast the black hole can grow. Think of it like filling up a balloon. There's only so much air you can pump in before the pressure fights back. For decades, astronomers have used this rule as the gold standard of black hole growth. But here's the shocker. Rax J0320-35 is not obeying the rules. According to the data, this black hole is growing at 2.4 times the Eddington limit, and somehow it hasn't blown itself apart or collapsed into instability. When Luca Egaina, a researcher from the Harvard and Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, first looked at the data, he admitted it was shocking to see a black hole breaking the speed limit of cosmic growth. And it's not just about the numbers. This black hole is giving us a front row seat into one of the most mysterious eras in cosmic history, the early universe, when galaxies and stars were just beginning to form. How could a black hole so young already be this massive? And how could it possibly grow faster than physics should allow? To study this, astronomers didn't just rely on Chandra's X-ray vision. They combined X-ray data with infrared and optical light, using multiple telescopes to piece together the full picture. What they saw was staggering. This black hole is devouring matter at a rate of 300 to 3,000 suns every single year. Imagine our sun, a massive ball of nuclear fusion, disappearing into a black hole thousands of times every year. That's the appetite of this cosmic monster. And yet, instead of choking on the radiation or reaching a breaking point, it continues to gorge itself, growing larger and brighter. When black holes consume matter at such extreme rates, they don't just sit silently in space. The material falling in forms an accretion disk, a swirling ring of gas and dust spinning at nearly the speed of light. This disk heats up, emitting incredible amounts of energy, often brighter than the entire galaxy surrounding it. That's what we call a quasar. Quasars are so luminous that they can be seen across billions of light years, acting like cosmic lighthouses. And Rax J0320-35 is exactly that, a quasar blasting radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum, making it a perfect laboratory for scientists trying to decode the mysteries of black hole growth. But here's the real puzzle. If this black hole is defying the Eddington limit, what does that mean about our understanding of physics? One theory is that the structure of the accretion disk might allow matter to funnel in faster than expected. Another possibility is that radiation is escaping in ways we don't fully understand, perhaps through enormous jets shooting out into space like cosmic blowtorches. These jets, powered by the black hole's magnetic fields, can extend for thousands of light years, punching through galaxies. 
Rax J0320-35, appears to be one of these jet spewing monsters, suggesting that rapid growth and jet activity may go hand in hand. By tracing back its growth rate, scientists tried to reconstruct the black hole's origins. What they found was even more surprising. It likely began as something ordinary, the collapse of a massive star less than 100 times the mass of the sun. In other words, it didn't require some exotic or impossible starting point. Instead, it grew to a billion solar masses simply by eating faster than it should have been able to. This raises a fascinating possibility. Maybe the early universe was filled with more fast-growing black holes than we ever realized. And if that's true, then many of our current models of how galaxies and black holes evolved could need rewriting. This isn't the first time scientists have spotted black holes growing faster than expected, but discoveries like this are adding weight to the idea that the early universe played by different rules. The James Webb Space Telescope has also hinted at other supermassive black holes forming much earlier than we thought possible. Together, these findings suggest that the seeds of the cosmos were growing at turbo speed, creating giants that shaped the evolution of galaxies from the very beginning. So, what does all of this mean for us today? On one level, it's a reminder that the universe is far stranger and more mysterious than we often imagine. The laws of physics we rely on might not be broken, but they may need updating to account for phenomena we don't yet understand. On another level, discoveries like Rax J0320-35 highlight the importance of keeping telescopes like Chandra operational. Without them, we'd miss out on glimpses into the deepest mysteries of the cosmos, mysteries that could one day reshape our understanding of how everything, including us, came to be. As Thomas Connor, another researcher from the Harvard and Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, put it, the real question remains, how did the universe create the first generation of black holes? Did they all start small and grow impossibly fast like Rax J0320-35, or were some born large, collapsing from giant clouds of primordial gas? The truth is, we don't know yet, but each discovery brings us one step closer to the answer. And perhaps, in chasing these cosmic mysteries, we're not just learning about black holes. We're learning about the universe's very first chapter, written in the language of light, gravity, and time. Picture it for a moment. Billions of years ago, when the universe was still in its infancy, a black hole was already devouring suns, creating jets of energy that blazed across the cosmos and outshining entire galaxies. Today, thanks to our telescopes, we can still see its ghostly light, a message sent across space and time, telling us that the universe still holds secrets we have yet to imagine. And maybe, just maybe, those secrets will lead us to answers not just about the past, but about the ultimate fate of everything.